We are not the way we ought to be, but God is at work to make us who He intends us to be. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by David McCaslin. My perspective on Earth changed dramatically the very first time I went into space, says space shuttle astronaut Charles Frank Bolden Jr. From hundreds of miles above the Earth, all looked peaceful and beautiful to him. Yet Bolden recalled later that as he passed over the Middle East, he was shaken into reality when he considered the ongoing conflict there. During an interview with film producer Jared Leto, Bolden spoke of that moment as a time when he saw the Earth with a sense of how it ought to be and then sensed a challenge to do all he could to make it better. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, the world was not the way God intended it. Into this moral and spiritual darkness, Jesus came bringing life and light to all. Even though the world didn't recognize him, to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. When life is not the way it ought to be, we are deeply saddened. When families break up, children go hungry, and the world wages war. But God promises that through faith in Christ, anyone can begin to move in a new direction. The Christmas season reminds us that Jesus the Savior gives the gift of life and light to everyone who will receive and follow Him. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading is from John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born not of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. We have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. That's today's scripture reading from John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. Let's pray together. Father in heaven, may we share the light and life of Jesus with others today. He is the most precious gift of all. In his name we pray, amen. Today's encouragement was provided by our Daily Bread Ministries.